Okay. Now I push the counter, and there goes the counter, down to one now, going to start. We're going to do, be doing an input test. It's on this uh, planner thing that I bought today. It doesn't really, I don't know if it really has a name. It's just, they call it, it's called a day runner or something like that, I don't know. It's just like, it's a pretty nice planner that I got at the base exchange. It's it's really nice, like, it's inside this nice leather-bound binder thing. Because of the previous planners, what would happen is it's just this paper thing, and you just open it up. And normally, you know, like, you don't want to have to close and open it to the date every time, you know. Like, that's really annoying, isn't it? It is indeed annoying. So what I'd have to do is I'd keep it open to that page, and then when I go back in my backpack, of course, I'd put stuff in it and cr crush it or rip the pages, you know, just mess it up in some kind of way, you know. Of course, I'd find loose pages everywhere in my backpack, and I'm just like, great, now I have these loose pages. It gets all messed up, you know, and I, and then I, I even had a small one that's, um, where is it? It's right over here. Let me retrieve it here. <sighs> Uh, this is the one that I use this past semester. This small planner, plan ahead, is what this one I'll likes to, to be called. Excerpt out of this planner. Uh, this this planner, it's so small. But anyway, before you read that excerpt, I'll just say, this thing, it's leather bound. You can close the entire binder and zip it up in this package, and it won't get messed up. And it's it's a good investment because this should be last probably probably like all of my years of college. Be good. And now for some excerpts. The second. Bible quiz three thurs Thursday B ball game at six o'clock math chapter six and seven run oh, read rest of skills work book there's theory on Friday the eleventh and also on the twenty fourth there's a basketball game follow your schedule these would be this is from the month of February, I can tell. Yeah, I didn't say it. Oh, it says it here, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, from the month. Of, I knew it was from the month of February because that's when basketball was. Out of boy, Evan. And this now, is from college, not from high school. These things, anyway. Yeah. The sound of clicking the mechanical pencil. Today, we're going to do some input evaluation with input pun intended, by both me and Evan. First is the Sanford Logo 0 0.5. Um, it's alright. It's not fantabulous, but nor is it horrible. It's pretty good. Let's have Evan give it a try. Hmm. This will now be my input test. Hmm. It's strange. I don't really seem to get really too much feeling. Like, it kind of just seems to glide like the paper's not there. I guess, you know, in that kind of way, it's very streamlined, it's nice, you know, because you don't have to, like, your paper doesn't get wrapped up or anything, because sometimes it's, like, really cheap paper where, like, they'll, you know, they'll be, like, a grain of salt or something on the other surface, and it, like, pops up on the paper and, like, yeah. it interrupts your writing or something, it's very annoying. So in that way, it's very streamlined, you know, there's no interruption, but yet it almost doesn't feel like I'm writing on the paper, you know, there's not a whole lot of input qualities for this paper. Now we have a centennial pencil owned, which was owned by a man by the name of Robert J. Wimberly. It's a golden colored pencil, very fancy looking. Get that lead just right. Hmm. I broke the lead. I gotta say, it's pretty pleasing. It has a certain kind of characteristic that I like in mechanical pencils to feel. I can't quite describe it, but if you can listen carefully to the way it sounds, you might be able to get an idea. You hear how it has a kind of a shaking sound? 
See, some pencils don't have that sound, and some do. This one, without the sound, and this one, with the sound. It's a, a certain sound that, combined with the feel, gives a satisfactory sensory input. Now, Evan, I want you to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try with this uh, this Robert J. Wimberly pencil. Well, that's the only who owned it. It was a, actually a Centennial made pencil. It's a company that made it. Indeed. It's very nice. So made in the U.S., too. I'll give it a try. I can see that this pencil is decent. <laughs> and then he did the classic line test, making an X, a large X. Do you notice the thing that I'm talking about, that characteristic, Evan? That sound combined with the way it feels, do you notice? I noticed it after I experimented moving the pencil in different ways. Like at first in a normal writing way you wouldn't experience it. But if you like drag the pencil in a certain way at a certain angle yes, it has the shaking yes, that's characteristic. It, that's it. Do you like it? I enjoy it. Oh good. Does it give you a sense of satisfaction by writing with it? It does give me a sense of satisfaction. Good. It's more the the tip. Whenever I write with this pencil it makes for a more fine point. So if I write like this Very good. Very good. Very good. If I write like that, and I try and, you know, make the right, if I want to make it as clear as possible, and not like, you know, sketchy, or make it look kind of less dark, or just fatter, I guess, in the way that it writes, yes, you know what yes. I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. And if I write with that one, it's got a very fine point, so I can be very exact in what I'm writing. Oh, that's good, and especially good for working with mathematics. I enjoy um, that characteristic in pencils. Now we're going to have Evan Rogers try out the classic Pilot Dark to Grip, the original version, which is becoming hard to find, very hard to find. I found these on eBay. I actually bought four. That was a minimum amount I could get. So I have three backups over at the house, still in the original packaging. And while the tape's almost ready to pick it up to side two, we're going to have Evan try out this paint. <laughs> so how do you like it? I really like the the very dark mark that this one makes. Indeed. Very, very dark mark. Makes it so it's not hard to see. Let me just try one more Good test. For taking notes. One more test. It's got you know, a very heavy sound to it whenever it marks on the paper. Which makes for a good, you know, a good sound, a good pleasing sound. So, whenever you mark on it, you know that you're making your mark. Yes, yes. And how does the sensory input feel? The input. The input was decent. Mm. The the input was better than the other ones, I think. The thing that, you know, made me the most uh, happy with it is just the, the very, very dark mark. It's just very dark and very distinct, you know. It's almost like you're writing with a pen. <laughs> very nice. I'm glad you enjoyed this segment of pencil...